I need more tampons. <laughs> What do you think? I don't think that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, if I was going to ask for something really big, you'd want me to just, like, come out and say it, right? Well, I don't know. If you're going to ask for something big, I might want to see you dance first. <laughs> well, David's parents are getting divorced, and he's supposed to move to Michigan with his mom. And I was wondering, can he move in with us? Darlene, if we were going to say no to something big, you'd want us to come right out and say it, right? Why not? I mean, he could sleep on the couch and he'll get a job and pitch in, and he wasn't raised by you guys, so he's real well-behaved. I'm sorry, Darlene. The answer's no. You don't know how much this means to me. I mean, David's the reason I came out of my mood last year and stopped being so difficult. You stop being difficult? Well, why didn't you tell us? We would have had a party. All right, but I'm a lot better than I was. And, I mean, we're not sleeping together, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just that I love him. Stop looking at me. And the fact that I'm sharing my feelings with you when I'd rather gouge my eyes out should prove that I'm being sincere. Well, what does David's mother think of this? This is Healy's for it. She's gonna have a hard enough time supporting herself. She also wants him to finish high school with his friends. Okay, darling, you've made your point. Now, me and your dad will discuss it. All right. I just want to say that I know that this is the sort of thing that typical parents would object to. I've always thought you guys were cooler than typical parents. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> oh, look, honey, our kids are necking. So, did you guys talk about it? Yeah, it's cool. Thank you, Mr. Connor. All right, well, I guess I'll show you your room in the basement. I don't think so. First of all, there will be no holding hands. There will be no looks across the room. There will be no touchy-feely. There will be no hanky-panky. There will be no smoochy-woochy. <laughs> and there will be none of that other stuff you're not supposed to know about. Can we still date? If you want, but I don't see much point. <laughs> and David, while you live here, you'll be home by curfew. You will keep your room clean. You will be the child we've never had. <laughs> OK, that's fair. These are just the rules today. We reserve the right to change the rules at any time. For your safety, for your education, or for our amusement. That is the price of living in our kingdom. Welcome to Rosanna Do.